Hello, this is Mike Pacton with Valley View Instructional Technology. Today I'm going to talk about an activity that you can do for Hour of Code. Uh, we've put together a website, www.vvsd.org slash Hour of Code, that has a lot of information about Hour of Code and things that you can do with students. There's links to a variety of websites and a lot of activities. And also we're promoting our hashtag VVSD Learns and then Hour of Code. If you are going to do something, it's great to shine some light on it to everybody, to fellow educators, to parents, to the community, um, to highlight those important things that are taking place in your classroom. So below this, we have a section of recommended activities. Please check out these activities. These are some of the larger lists above. However, these ones we've curated. So if you're not really sure where to begin, this is a great spot. Um, we also indicated grade levels. So you'll see everything from elementary to middle high and um, a variety of topics um, as well to sort of diversify the list. So I'm gonna to talk today about CodeMonkey and particularly a Python chat box activity. Um, the Python chatbot activity allows students to essentially create a chatbot that'll play a trivia game. So um, the way this platform works, students on the left hand side um, get instruction sets and things to do for various exercises and activities. And these will run them through learning things about code and things about um, particularly Python um, language, some of the functions. They'll also learn about variables and some um, computer science ideas that are not specific to um, any one type of language. So they're things that they're going to support no matter what type of coding students go on in the future and learn or use. Um, it just builds that strong foundation in, in understanding um, some of these computer science topics. Uh, in the center, they have activities that they complete, and this is the actual um, area for them to work on. So this is their code. They can enter and type code. They can click on sort of commands that are already pre-built in, and then they can also copy and paste things as needed um, from the left-hand side here. So I'm going to remove that line I just created. And then in the right hand side, you see this is their area to test it out and see what would happen if they executed that code. So I'll click test right here and you'll see, um, you know, this various three steps of code execute, except we get an error. So in some cases, you'll get an error. Um, and this time it was intentional. They wanted to show the error and now students will think about why it erred and what that means and um, go through here and change the code accordingly. Um, at the end, they can navigate up here at the top to the various activities, either with the drop down menu or using these arrows. And by the end of the 16th activity, they've pretty much created this awesome interactive trivia chat box. They could get a partner and, you know, have them play it or something along those lines. Um, and so it's kind of fun. It's a really neat activity. The students learn a lot about coding, about Python, about computer science, um, and, it, and it's a great way to promote. Um, these ideas and these concepts with our students and especially during our of code.